coach. She was a great player there and has rolled them into Division One. Um, newcomer, they've got four starters back and they're six man plus six or seven uh, Division One and JUCO transfers. Um, not your typical first year expansion uh, Division One team. Uh, very going to execute, experienced. Um, don't anticipate um, anything other than a, a well-seasoned, well-coached, well-prepared team. Can beat you from the perimeter. Got some – that don't have size, but they score around the basket. The, their sixth man, who has been their leading scorer the last couple of years, uh, is undersized. But, again, you, you know, we don't judge production by height. We all know that. This kid can really play. So, it's a challenge when you have a – you know, no film to work off of. There's a lot of guesswork. Um, hopefully, we've got a, a, got them as prepared as we need to be. Uh, and, and then that make sure we're ready to play. Make sure our group, you know, we've got a, a, a three-game and five-day span. So, a, a healthy dose of making sure we're prepared, but also making sure we're rested. Got to take everybody's question, I hope. Good. Go to work. Paul starts off. Yeah, uh, uh, coach, uh, can you can you talk about I guess maybe what you saw from certain groups in that exhibition game, and maybe what you're looking for specifically in in this one? A lot more of that. I, I thought we had a lot of positives. Our, our lineups were all good, uh, very efficient. Uh, we, we valued the ball, didn't turn it over a whole lot based on the number of possessions we played. Uh, we didn't shoot it particularly well. I think we can make some more of the shots. We had some nerves in some of those cases. I thought we played really, really hard. So I want to see those things can continue. Clean up some of the execution stuff. Um, for the part that we had them prepared for, they did a really good job with the scouting report. Um, and then we made an adjustment. Obviously, the kid hit four threes in the first half. We made some adjustments there. Hopefully, we'll be a little bit more prepared. But I, I didn't have any issue with anything whatsoever from the exhibition game. So... Hopefully a lot more of that carried over to, uh, you know, a quality division one opponent. Uh, you, you will see some different combinations. Some of those same combinations will, will play together. But in the first quarter, you're probably going to see at least six lineups that we didn't play together uh, the other night. That's what we've been doing. That was the plan from when we put this schedule together. We're sticking to it. Uh, different lineup at uh, Kansas, be a different lineup than you saw against Fort Smith. Uh, tomorrow night and, and anticipating probably a, a completely different lineup to, to begin the game on Friday. Uh, with And then when you start a different lineup, that changes your rotations. So we'll get to see a, a lot of new groups together, but uh, we've got some groups we know know something about that we can always go back to when we need to. Well, I'll ask then uh, before anybody else does, who, who, who's, uh, who, who are the five that start? Get there tomorrow about 10 minutes, about a minute before the game, and you'll find out. <laughs> You'll find out. I, hey, listen, we, part of me de-emphasizing the importance of starting is you guys not being able to put it in your newspaper and uh, share it with the group before the game. On You know, the TV people may sneak over there, Brett, and find out from the book. But um, I'm on an effort to change not only with our, in our program, but just hopefully anybody else that struggled with that over the last few years uh, to de-emphasize who's starting a little bit. Uh, you, but I will tell you, it'll be a different lineup than, than we started at Kansas and a different lineup than we started at uh, to start against Fort Smith. So let the speculation begin. All right, I'll let somebody else go. Sorry, Paul. <laughs> Brett, go ahead. Mike, I guess that strategy of, of trying to keep people fresh with three games in five days kind of seems like it would fit in naturally with the number of people that you're going to play anyhow, right? It does. Yeah, it seems logical, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what we're trying to be here. We're trying to try to be mindful. Uh, obviously, we're not looking past, not looking forward to anything or anybody. But this isn't the, this is a plan we started in April. You know, we we knew that what the schedule was. We obviously got moved up on us. We were anticipating playing tonight, but we got that moved up. So we had to crank up. We we scheduled our preseason workout number one through twenty five accordingly so that we can be the best prepared and the best rested for this week's stretch as we can be. So yeah, it does play into that strategy. We're um, fresh legs, fresh minds, people in new 
opportunities, see who, you know, some kids come off the bench better than they start. Some kids start better than they come off the bench. So we'll, we'll have some data to use, some film to use. Um, and that's what preseason is all about. Preseason is all about learning your team and uh, making sure you're ready for the stretch run. Porter, do you got anything? Yeah, Coach, when you're talking about your depth, just what advantage does that give you when people are trying to game plan on you, not knowing what starting lineup you're going to go with and then what they're going to get out of the lineup that they're that you put out there? I think it keeps competition fresh in practice. You know, in the past, you've been able to say, hey, team one, get out there. Nobody knew who that was. This year, that's not the case. So I think competition within practice stays at a really, really high level. Uh, you know, I think some things you saw the other night, you know, we allow Matt, Matt to pick up a little bit in full court pressure uh, that uh, we wouldn't have been able to do in the past because we know we've got quality depth. Uh, I think you see us extend a little bit, uh, put a, try for some a few more turnovers than we've, we've had in the past. Uh, we're crashing the boards with an extra body this year than we have in the past. Uh, we're sending at least three and a half, sometimes four to the glass on the offensive end. Um, I think it allows us to, to improve on what we've had without, without, you know, we're still not getting away from our clear identity of playing fast and getting layups and free throws and threes. But I think defensively is where you'll see a lot of that, but obviously on offense too, continuing to play fast and not turn the thing over More bodies means faster pace. As long as we can do it with, without losing our function, functionality. And one more thing. Do you yeah. Knowing what you know now, would you have changed up your non-conference schedule any, or are you really happy with how everything's laid out for SEC? No, I, I like it. I, I think it's really good. I think it's appropriate. I think it's balanced on styles of play. I think we've got two incredibly, and maybe three, in fact, if you start incredibly tough road situations, going to Central Florida, going to Yukon, and then across the straight state to Arkansas State, judging by ticket sales and their crowd today. That's going to be a heck of an environment. You know, then you look up and Belmont's like the number one team or number two team in the mid-major polls and Sam Houston State's in there. Central, you know, I, I like it. I, I really do. I think it'll have us prepared, knowing what we have ahead of us when the SEC turns over, you know, when, at, or right around Christmas. Thank you, Coach. You got it. Jacob, you got anything? Russell, you got anything? So maybe not who's starting, but who has earned more minutes as opposed with their play or anything in practice or in the last yeah. exhibition game? Still we're still not at that point where anybody's earning or losing anything. I, I think we're right where we were at. To me, we've, we've got 10 kids that have really, you know, kind of given themselves the conversa in the conversation of starting. Uh, nine or 10 for sure. And then roles for every single person. We've got two or three roles, I think, really clearly identified. But, you know, kind of the rest of them are still up there. But nobody's nobody's done anything to lose minutes. So I think it's going to be a case more of that than anything, Russell. I, I think earning minutes will be because somebody uh, doesn't perform as well, doesn't prepare as well, doesn't go to class. Uh, it's it's a, You don't want to miss class right now. You know, you don't want to miss class. You don't want to miss practice. You don't want to, um, you don't want to have to set out a drill because there's there's quality player there that wants those minutes. So um, I think, you know, when you sit down, you write out 200 minutes a game, they disappear in a hurry. Uh, so with that said, not anybody earning or losing, but, you know, I think some people have continued to be very, very efficient. And you're going to look at me crazy when I tell you this, but but Riley Langerman is in our best five offensive lineups. I don't think she's made a shot yet. <laughs> you know, she's over, and she's you know she's made shots in practice. She can't get one to go in the game, but that'll come. But her lineups are still really good. They defend. Her lineups defend. That she moves the ball. She keeps balls tipping around. That you know doesn't show up on the stat sheet. So um, you know it's not going to be. It's going to be. It's going to be an every game type deal. And, and I want our kids one through 14, you know, Miriam's Miriam's getting closer and closer every day. So I uh, don't know when that'll happen, but that'll, that'll happen fast when, and if it does. So I really like this. I, I've never been a part of a team as a head coach. We had a team at Xavier one time that was kind of like this, but I've, I've never been a part of a team as a head coach that on the first game of the day, the first game of the season, 
I honestly could get every person around our program in here. And I think we'd probably get a different answer about, you know, maybe who to start or, or who to bring first off the bench and things like that. And that, that to me is a, a good sign for us. It's a, it's a, a badge of honor for our kids on how hard they've worked and the roster that we've been able to put together, but it's new. It's new for all of us, uh, especially me and, and we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll make some mistakes along the ways. I'm sure they will be, but, We've got an environment that that's okay. The mistakes are where, are where you learn. And, and we've got that, that type of uh, environment set up. So it, it, it's going to be something new every day for our group. And, and I think it's, it's kind of energizing, to be honest with you. I kind of like it. I, I don't know that, you know, we can do this every single year, but with the team we have right now, it's, I think it's the best way to go. How much extra time a day or a week are you guys sitting down and going through analytics or Schaefer? I mean, it seems like that would add to your, your, your time right now. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's fun. I mean, it, it's, I, I love, there's a great line from West wing, you know, you, you surround yourself with smart people that disagree with you, you know? So I've done that. I got a lot of people that will tell me, you know what, what they're seeing and we have good conversations, but when we all walk out of that door, we're all on the same page, but <clears throat> it has taken uh, extra time, but it's worth it. You know, that's, that's what we ask these kids to do hard things all the time. You know, it's hard. It's been hard on Aaron to have to guard bigger kids over the years. It's been hard on Michaela having to match up with Ryan Howard. So if they're going to do hard things, we're going to, we're going to do hard things around here and, and make tough decisions and, um, make sure that our, our kids understand that um, roles, no matter how uh, important the general public might think they are, they're very, very important what we're trying to get done. So we've got a challenge. We know that. But, man, it's fun. It's a lot funner than, hey, I, there were days when Malika Monk was begging for to come out of a game, and I'd just act like I didn't hear her. You know, she'd be like, Coach, I need a break. Uh, what? Uh, uh, well, you know, we, we didn't have a choice. We didn't have an option down there. So, you know, now when Mac walks over and goes, coach, I need a break. It's, hey, we got, tell me when you're ready to go back in type deal. So it's fun. I, I think it's, we're, we're happy we are where we're at, but, you know, I'll, I'll keep coming back to and saying it. it. It's just new for us. It's new for us. Other follow-ups for coach. Paul, you got anything else? Yeah, coach, uh, can, can you talk to us about, you know, you said something to me about, uh, the you know announcing everyone at the at the beginning uh yeah. tell, tell us about how that came about and uh and a little more about that um as an assistant coach for a number of years a lot of times I was the initial meeting that players would have before they would go talk to a head coach about whether they were starting or not and the one thing I kept hearing about when I would have that conversation was it's it's not a big deal you know whether you start or you don't start and I kid one time go well, how come you make such a big deal about it then? And it, it kind of hit me right there. Like I said, well, what are you talking about? She goes, got a light show, got smoke. I get, to, uh, they get to throw a t-shirt. They get to throw a ball, their pictures in the newspaper, their names in the newspaper. They show them on the pregame on when it's on TV. And it, it kind of hit me. It was like, wait a second. We we're kind of out of alignment a little bit there. Uh, and it's okay if you're a coach that says, hey, starting's a big deal, then make it a big deal, I think. So, luckily, we got an administration, and, and Elvis has done a great job working with us on it. It took a lot of talking to and, and making people understand what our, our plan was. We're not just trying to be – I'm not just doing it to be different. You know, that's the main – that we're not just trying to be different. I, I really want every person. And then it hit me. We went and played overseas. We were in a FIBA matchup, and they announced to everybody. Thought that was pretty cool. Why can't we do that? Because of ritual, tradition, or, you know, just, you know, whatever. It's the way you do it. Doesn't mean that's the way you have to do it. So we don't take up any more time. In fact, it's less. It's We, we use less time in the pregame. Uh, every single person gets to run out of that tunnel, run through the, the miniature A. I don't know, the cheerleaders kind of made a little miniature A and, um, you know, maybe we started something new. I don't know. It's, I don't care whether anybody else ever does it, for, for, but for us, it works. And it's who we are. It, 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 not, it keeps the side-by-side -side alignment going. And I, I don't, I didn't want, I, I never wanted to have another conversation with somebody about if starting's not such a big deal, 
you know, how can we make a big deal out of it? We're back and better than ever. A new web interface to start the basketball season and more props, odds, and lines than ever before. Bet Online remains your number one spot for all basketball and football action this season. Head to the new updated desktop or mobile website to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use our promo code BELIEVE50 to receive your bonus. That's B L E A V. 50 to receive your bonus from basketball football and baseball postseason nhl boxing and ufc right to your favorite vegas casino games don't wait to take advantage of all the amazing offers available for the 2021 season bet online is the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports bet online where the game starts 